the United States after studying in the Sprobling statue. And he was known for his um, wire rope suspension bridge style. The, the bridge now is made from um, cable that is actually more of like metal fiber because they've upgraded the bridge several times since he built it in the, in the 1860s. They started work on this bridge before the Civil War. They actually didn't finish it until after the Civil War. And that partly had to do with the fact that they had ran out of materials. They also um, didn't want to connect Kentucky to Ohio with the bridge in case the Confederate Army tried to come up through Kentucky and take the city of Cincinnati. Um, There's also a shortage of men available because they were off fighting the war. So it did not actually get finished until after um, which is really kind of neat because there's a lot of pictures of it where it's not connected, but they had the two um, piers on both sides already finished. Um, what I kind of find fun about Roebling is that after he left here, he went to Brooklyn to start working on the Brooklyn Bridge. If you look at our bridge and you look at the Brooklyn Bridge, you might notice some similarities. The Brooklyn Bridge is a copycat. It is not the original Roebling Bridge. Um, the difference <laughs> is they have a two two spans. Still not as cool as our bridge. Ours is also 20 years older. And only one cable spun hung suspension bridge.